a do you mind I can't decorate I'm trying to pull this out of my butt and I need y'all to come help me where are you at when I need you guys oh look Heather I got this and it's look at the little legs that's cute it's so cute oh, stop it it's a hammock but it's really for guinea pigs don't need your help. You turn. But I like it. I like it a lot. Where, oh, where should I hang this sign at? What's her tampon? On the counter. You should never know. Flash dad. I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be better catch you if you fall. I can make it bright. Are you done? Flash. Flash. Flash, go poop. I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie I can hide what this is. Yeah, I keep drowning in those blue eyes. Oh my god, look at the cats, they're in it. Look at Grady. Hey, Mom, I'm done. Hey, Mom, what are you doing? Let's show them what we got. We got Flash of Pool so that. He can have water outside to drink or just get in, and he probably won't because he hates water. But, um, I, you know, I had well, the table might be a little taller. Yeah. I had my five below table there, and we found this table that we're going to put there. We found that at Hobby Lobby, and it was on sale for how much, Flash? How much? $48.99. Look at the cats are in it. So then, uh oh, I'm not apart. We got a silicone spatula because we spatula lost um, a silicone whisk because <laughs> because ours got threw away or something, and I uh, got it silicone that way you don't scratch your pants. Next, we got a. Do you mind? We got a watering system jug thing for the cats because we, like their bowls and stuff, nasty and they look awful. I keep looking at the wrong place. I'm looking up there and sitting down here. No! You can't have my whip. He has to go. But look at him. But their bowls and stuff over there are just dirty and they don't match and they're chewed up from flash and all that. So. He got my whisk. Flash. Flash. Bring it back. He got my whisk. Come here, buddy. I got you a treat. And then we got, since she has 30, how many cats you got, Heather? Five. Since she got 47 cats. Okay, so here's their water. We got them some fancy bolts because, you know, but then she got like so many that she had to get this one too so that all 49 of them can eat at the same time. Then we got, okay, she got this for her lunch and, oh, and it came with a spa. She got a spiky spoon. 
and you know, section it off. What do you do with my vest? Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, this is the best of all. My knees hurt so bad when they touch together at night and my feet, so I found this pillow. Can I show them? Cece, Chip, whichever one you are. Hey, get out of there. She's stuck in the bag. So then, anyway, you put that between your legs. We'll see if it works. But it was at the TJ Maxx for $14.99. Cece, Cece, are you hung? Go on. Flash your needy. Super needy. Then, for my little table and my shelves, would you stop? I got this and this. Just cheap, little, cute, just add a little something. I can't decorate. I'm trying to pull this out of my butt and I need y'all to come help me. Where are you at when I need you guys? Oh, look, Heather. I got this and it's, look at the little legs. That's cute. It's so cute. Ah, stop it. Stop. So here's the little um, dead plants I bought, Heather. <laughs> this one, this one, and this one. And I love the legs a lot. Flush, would you go on? This is not for you. I did get you some, though, I think. Okay, empty, empty. Oh, and we got, mm, we got that. That was $4.99. Okay, let's see. Oh, we got this. So we're gonna try this little generic, what was it called, Firminator? Yeah. Firminator, we're gonna try the generic one because this was a lot cheaper than the $35 one. Oh my gosh, and this is my favorite. It's a hammock, oh, flash. It's a hammock, but it's really for guinea pigs. But hey, you know, it'll fit. So anyway, you strap these up. And I'm trying to do this alone. Oh, it's a hammock. For the cats, that's gonna be adorable. And I bought hooks, so I don't know where we're gonna hang it, but we're gonna figure it out. Cause that was so cute. Then, Didn't we get a toy? We, no, we got him one at the, didn't we get that long duck thing? Oh yeah, roster. Where is it? It's not here. And then I got this because in all things and all times, good and bad, he is always good. He is still good, no matter what. Look what I got, Heather. Okay, picks for the cat hammock. His toy ain't in here. I scoop for oh, her good. to leave in our tray, ice tray. Oh my God. Where is it? I'm so sad. And then, that was so cute. So we got that. Look, Heather, look at this one. She went with me when I went to Hobby Lobby. That's why I bought more of this. So cute. Did he get it? You think he got it? Let me check the receipt because we got him a toy and a in here. Home goods. It wasn't a home goods, was it? No, that was the bowls and the water jug. It was at Ross. So where is the Ross bag? It might be in the back seat. Maybe. I don't know. Hang on. We'll go look. No, it wasn't at Ross. It was that. I don't even know. Toying in here. <laughs> it makes me so sad. I know it 
know we caught it. Shoot. Oh, the garage is clean a little bit. It ain't in there. It's a little dog and it was so cute. It was, where were we? It's starting all over again. That first shot of the higher dosage is bad. We paid for it, it ain't in here. Quick. Yeah. I'll still take it. Did you check to the back of the camera? You can look too, but we paid for it, it just ain't in the bag. And you can tell me all of your lies. I will put out all of the fire. If it gets too dark, oh, oh, I'll be your light. Ooh, be your light. Also, I really don't need your help. Uh -huh, I do. Don't. Don't need your help. <laughs> you turn. Hello friends and welcome back. If you're new and it's your first time stopping by, my name's Amanda. I'm 43 years old. I'm a mama to four girls, two of which are grown and gone. They live on their own. And then I have a 17 year old and an 11, almost 12 year old here at home with me. So we live with my best friend, Heather, and we are roommates and it's just a big girl house, a big girl party, and we just do our best to survive the days, keep everybody alive and have each other's backs when needed. But we love hard and it's a whole lot of chaos, a whole lot of craziness around here, but I wouldn't have it any other way. There are so many times I'm so exhausted just from the days, but when I lay down at night, I'm just so thankful and so grateful that God chose me to walk the path that he has. Even the hard times, he's still good. Through it all, he's still good. And that's why I love that sign because even in hard times, he's still so, so good. And you can't see it then, but I promise you will see it later. But I hope you decide to stick around. We've got a bunch of cleaning to do. Our whole house was basically trashed. Story of my life. But we clean a bunch of things. And I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. I just thought I'd throw that in there. I just love seeing hauls with random things. So I just thought I'd leave that in there and show you guys. But stick around. We've got a whole bunch to do today. You're going to get a lot of motivation. I am running for you. As I'm editing my videos back, a lot of times Heather's like, oh my gosh, you've got to leave that in there. That's hilarious. That's so funny or whatever. And I feel so stupid sometimes. I'm like, why do you act like that? You're 43. But you know, I guess we just try to have fun and make the best of our days. But that's all you can do at the end of the day. And I always just love to make my kids small or laugh or whatever. But I'm the first one to jump their tail if, you know, it needs to be jumped. Maybe it's multiple personalities. I don't know. But this was crazy. Amanda on this day, obviously. I'll slip into your dreams tonight. Oh, oh, oh. So
cats fight over these hammocks and there's only two so we seen this hammock and it was for guinea pigs but i was like maybe it'll be big enough and lv loves it the little black kitten you'll see her in it in a few minutes but with anything new that we bring in the house they all have to warm up to it so i really think that they're all going to like it as they you know get used to it but we did find some hammocks that screw to the wall and you can kind of make stairs out of it and i thought that would be so neat if i can remember i'll insert a picture here of those but I'm thinking that would be so cute for these cats. They would love it. But this hammock was a little bit smaller than I thought it would be. But for now, it's serving the purpose. And knowing Heather, there'll probably be a new little kitten here before long anyway. <laughs> or shoot, even knowing her, it could be a guinea pig. I think these food bowls look so much better than the other ones. The plastic ones they had, Flash had gotten a hold of them and he had chewed the edges of them. They just looked bad. They didn't match and I know they don't have to match. That's not necessary at all. But like when I would film or mop over there or anything else, they just didn't look good. And they had food all over the floor and it seems like since these are raised up off the floor a little bit, it keeps that mess off the floor. living room too. Look at LV, she's so cute. Hmm. Flash dad. Texas Roadhouse on this night. Our 
our kitchen was trashed and I didn't want it any more trash than what it was, I would have had to have washed dishes before I could have even cooked. It was so bad. A lot of this was just left over from Easter on Sunday, so I hadn't cleaned that mess up yet. So I called Alden and he was bringing Allie home from softball pictures. So he stopped at Texas Roadhouse and got us supper. So I was so glad, but it was time to get up and get this mess picked up. We had played with the animals. We had put our little decor that we had bought out. So it was just time to get this done. Flashy, you're so cute. never know what you're going to find on our kitchen counters or our dining room table. Those are our two hot spots. It's like you walk through the door and you have things in your hand and we're always in a hurry to get Flash out of his crate and let him out and go use the bathroom and all that. And it's just the first place you come when you walk through the laundry room door, if you come through the garage, or if you come through the front door, the dining room table catches it. I don't know how to stop that. I'm as bad as the kids, so I'm not going to even blame it on the kids or say it's their fault, they're not doing what they're told, all that stuff. I'm not going to say that. We all do it. Everybody in this house does it. And you'll see later in the video when I'm cleaning the dining room, Alden comes in and he does it. And even Allison, he had brought Allison home from school and she does it with her backpack. So, you know, it's just a spot to put things. And I guess everybody has those. I hope anyway, make me feel a little bit better here. Anyway, we had some water jugs here that we just take to the ball field and we needed to get those cleaned. I'm bad to just refill them a couple of times and not wash them. And then they just get dirty, especially at the ball field with those sitting in the dugout they get dirt on them and you know germs all that stuff so I just wanted to give these water bottles a good scrub I have put these yetis in the dishwasher before but Allison had just got that little white one and I wanted to wash it by hand I was afraid to put it in the dishwasher it was a little pricey so didn't want to ruin that because you know I don't have the best luck when it comes to things like that so she would have been upset if I'd ruined that so I just washed all these by hand plus we played Tetris to even get all those dishes in the dishwasher we were trying our hardest and Heather kept saying it's full nothing else is going to fit and I was like girl you have all kinds of room in that dishwasher we can make more fit and we almost fit everything so I got a lot more in there than she thought and everything came clean our dishwasher does get things clean I mean it works really well I don't like the utensil drawer I wish we just had a basket I thought it was super neat when we first moved in this house that it had that tray you pull out I was like oh cool that's so neat but I hate putting those forks in a slot like each go in their own slot. We bought the Dawn detergent that don't have a cap on it. And I love that. I love to be able to pick it up, squirt it on your brush or sponge or whatever. I love it. But we sit it upside down. 
always, and I don't always just have it, but we always sit that upside down. And I was just reusing this Texas Roadhouse bag to throw all of the trash in. Are y'all like that? Because like birthday parties or whatever, if I'm not gonna reuse that gift bag, I will fill it up with trash to save a trash bag. guys have asked me which vacuum I prefer the first one I showed you or this one and I like them both for different reasons um, I like the first one because it comes with a mount that you can hang it on the wall and it will charge while it hangs there so that's super handy um, I like that that one comes with the smaller brush head that you can vacuum your furniture and steps and things like that and it's just the little small one like maybe about six inches wide eight inches wide something like that but then I like the second one I got because it stands alone I love that I'm always propping my Dyson or whatever up against a couch or a wall a door whatever and it falls and I'm so afraid I'm gonna bust that canister obviously didn't catch it in the last video but I did notice that it has a little clip that you clip onto it and it holds your tools like your accessories so that was pretty neat and I like that that pole is adjustable I you know I've got it extended all the way out and it's you know it's perfect um I could probably even go a notch smaller, but I guess if you're a short person and maybe your spouse is taller, that would be handy, but I do like them both. I think they're both great quality. I think the battery is pretty much equal. Um, I think the section's probably about the same. So yeah, I mean, they're both about the same. And I want to say as well, while I'm on the subject, do not ever feel pressured to buy anything that I throw on here. I do like to do a sponsorship every now and then. It gives me things that I need. I'll never do something if I don't need it or if it's not practical for me or for my channel. But don't ever feel pressured to buy that. It's not an affiliate link. I don't get any commission or anything off that. But, you know, if you're looking for something, I'll always give you my honest review. If I think it's crap, I'll tell you it's crap. Or I'll send it back to them and tell them I'm not doing it. So, you know, don't ever feel pressured. I think sometimes we can watch different people on YouTube and see the things they have. And we think that we need that too. For instance, this steam mop I'm using, I bought that because I watched Jesse Christine, you know, keep calm and clean. I watched her video and she was steam mopping with this steam mop and I was like oh my gosh I love that I've got to have it and you know I went and got it and but it was just $119 it was super affordable and with all of the pets listen to me trying to convince myself that it was worth the money and it really is worth the money we have a lot of pets and there's a lot of nastiness that's tracked through this house so I love that this steam mop you know kills germs and all that and just with water I think that's super neat to use around animals so you've not got all those chemicals and things like that on the floor and this is sped up so I do go over this very slowly because I think in the little booklet it came with it said it takes 14 swaps to kill 99.9% .9 of all the bacteria so I do go over this super slow and several times and you know a lot of times I'll edit some of it out because it would be super long and repetitive if y'all just seen me swap my floor 14 times right here but yeah I don't ever feel obligated to buy anything you know a good old-fashioned broom and mop does just as well it really does and sometimes I would prefer to use that but it is fun to switch it up you know I do a lot of cleaning I do a lot of cleaning for you know for content I do a lot of cleaning because we have a lot of messes and it gets super boring and repetitive if y'all seen me sweep with the same broom 
over and over and over it would get super boring for you guys so it does switch it up a little bit for you guys you know i like trying new things to see what works best and you know it may help you guys out too so anyway just gonna throw that out there mopping right there in front of Kennedy's door I had looked over and noticed that one of the cats had knocked down her prom dress so I did ask her if I could show you guys you know some girls don't like anything like that being shown before they wear it but I did ask her if I could show you guys and she was like well of course she don't care so here's her prom dress I think it's super pretty and it is a lot prettier in person actually like it shines a lot more as the light hits it or sun hits it but it is so pretty but I was just going to give you all a sneak peek of that I was down until you saved me until you set me free my eyes were closed now I see clear as day and I just wanted to say that you can take me high Feels like I can fly. You're in trouble, nan nan a boo boo. Okay, let's show him what he did. Thanks. What you got? Is that half of your snake? You were tall, I looked up. From where I sat, wished I wouldn't dressed up. Your first line won't forget So is it true no one's taking you yet? I remember people staring as we stepped outside They had only one goal Give me all for your mind This was the next day. This was Tuesday. Hopefully I'm going to get this edited and uploaded and voiceovered for you on Wednesday. Today is Wednesday for me as I'm voiceovering. So I just got myself ready for the day and I was pushed on time because Allison had a softball game on this night and Alden was picking her up from school and he was going to bring her home and we were needing to rush out the door after we got everybody fed. So I was just like what needs to be done the most what's the dirtiest and I know y'all have seen me clean this bathroom a million times it gets super repetitive it's small I don't get good angles in here there's just not a lot of room but it needed to be done this bathroom was disgusting I will tell the girls to clean it or whatever and they'll go in they'll you know pick clothes up wipe something down but they don't sweep the floor and they don't get behind the toilet all those cracks and crevices they don't get in all those places and it just was nasty it had been a while I mean probably the last time y'all seen me clean it is the last time I cleaned it I know I have cleaned the toilet since and I think I scrubbed yeah I know I scrubbed the bathtub out because we gave Flash a bath in it so we cleaned that after that but that tub does need to be cleaned and scrubbed out good seems like I can scrub that tub out and get it so white and clean and those stains come right back I don't know if it's just kind of like set in stains and the cleaner kind of bleaches it out and as the bleach fades it comes back I'm not sure but it needs to be cleaned but I didn't have time on this day to do that I really didn't want to get into the bleach and all of the harsh chemicals because I just gotten ready like I said and I just didn't want to go to the ball field smelling like Clorox so I know you guys can probably relate seems like I can go to the grocery store or wherever after I get done cleaning and I smell like cleaner no matter how many times I wash my hands I still can smell it but I just wanted to give everything a good wipe down scrub this toilet top to bottom get behind that toilet and all that and then I do steam mop the whole bathroom floor but my camera died and I didn't notice so y'all see me do half of that but I like that the steam mop gets back behind the toilet on the sides and all that because my Bissell I don't think it goes back in there 
very well. You know, of course a mop does, but I like that the steam mop goes around that toilet so good there around the bottom because you know that gets super disgusting. And when y'all see the mirror, I guess my kids just straight up spit toothpaste at this mirror. I'm not sure, but you know, let me know if your kids do that, but I don't know how this mirror gets in this shape. Yeah, we still dream of what we could be, could be. that Kennedy's clothes were laying on her bed instead of hanging up in the closet and I just wanted to go in there and hang those up because the dog hair is you know real in this room he sleeps in this room with her so I wanted to get those off her bed and hung up or they would have dog hair all over them so while I was in here I just went ahead and pulled the comforter up on her bed nothing too you know glamorous or anything I didn't dust her vacuum or any of that we bought her this king size comforter because her bed is a queen but it's very tall and the mattress would show on the sides so came with king size shams so I do need to get her bigger pillows because those pillows are just the standard pillows and they are not big enough they look terrible so I need to do that but Heather picked up the pink stuff floor cleaner you know I've been going back and forth on this stuff because it's ten dollars and let's be real that's just 
I'm, it's just ridiculous. I think $10 is way too pricey for that. But when I got to reading on it, you only use two capfuls. So I was like, well, it will last a while. You know, it's concentrate. But, and we did stick one of those home run pizzas in the oven that you just seen. And it was so good. We used to have a little pizza place around here and it was called Pizza Cottage and their pizza was the best and they went out of business and this is the closest thing I found to that pizza. I will say that this pizza is extra cheesy. I'm not a huge fan of cheese. I could just peel the cheese off and eat the sauce and the, the bread but it is super cheesy so if you like cheese you'll love it and this sauce is more of a tomatoey taste than you know like a pizza sauce taste that's just my opinion you know everybody's taste buds are different but i thought it was really good it's just got a whole bunch of cheese on it so anyway i was going to use the pink stuff you'll see that in a few minutes but i needed to get these shirts folded i also needed to get this table picked up because you know it's just always piled up always before somebody comes up my kid and says you should not put your shoes on the dining room table that is disgusting you're absolutely right it is disgusting but she's my kid I handled it my table you know y'all don't have to eat off of it and I know most people wouldn't say anything about it but there's people that will message me or come at me and say you shouldn't let your kid do this or that well you know it's my house it's my kid I'm being vulnerable I'm being real and raw and I'm showing you things like that happen around here. And I'm sure I'm not the only one with a kid that's ever put something where it didn't belong. And yes, it's nasty. It is. It's no more nasty than a dog being on my table or dog hair. And you'll see that later too. But it is nasty. But at the end of the day, we put it where it goes. We get it cleaned up. I told her not to do that anymore. And we got it fixed. And, you know, that's just what you have to. You know, as well as I do, if you're a mom, that it's a learning experience. You know, she knows better better than to put her shoes there she just didn't want to take a few extra steps and put them there but you know I told her and she took care of it so I also wanted to add that if you are looking to buy a vacuum cleaner and you have $500 just to blow on it and you're fine it won't put you in a bind whatever buy a Dyson they're superior I love my Dyson I absolutely love it the canister is really big it has great suction it I love it love my Dyson but if you only want to spend a hundred dollars a little over a hundred dollars the two vacuums I just showed you are extremely nice for the price and I bought Lexi a Tenco for Christmas and I paid around a hundred dollars for that maybe a little over and it's basically the same thing I mean just like 
the suction power and all that she unboxed it here when she got it so i did use it for a second just to try it out and see what it was like and it's just like these so you know and they sell those at walmart so you know you have that option too don't ever i'd hate for y'all to buy something and not like it because i suggested it so you know use your own judgment Anything to make you mine Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in So wish me good luck Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn up the love Because it's on I want you there right by my side, baby, please To hold me tight throughout the night Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song I need a boost Let's turn dog he is so funny and i was not a dog person i grew up having cats and i did grow up having an outside dog it was a black lab but i was just not a dog person like i would go to my friend's house and if they had a dog i just wasn't a huge dog person so we brought this little thing home well he's not so little anymore but we brought him home he was tiny and his little ears would almost drag the ground and he was just adorable i got so attached to him and i'm home all day everybody else is gone he's just my little sidekick and he, i have gotten so attached to him i cannot imagine something happening to him i can't like it would break my heart i think i would honestly grieve and grieve and grieve over that i know that sounds crazy to some of you all but you do get so attached to him and he's just so funny and on i mean i'm going to be honest there's times he can drive me crazy and there's times like you know cleaning up his messes or he's running around grabbing this or that he'll snatch your socks as you're trying to put them on your feet and he'll take off with them and if you're home alone you can't catch him he'll run circles around the dining room table like you can't you have to corner him and he can be a little pest he really can at the same time he is so sweet it is so rewarding and i just love him so much but here I'm trying the pink cleaner out, the floor cleaner. I wanted to get this mopped as we were fixing to walk out the door to Allie's game just so it could dry while we were gone. Nobody be tracking through it too, too much except the animals, of course. But I wanted to get it mopped and just see how well it worked. It does smell okay. It smells just like the other. I think it has a citrusy, like a grapefruit smell. And it did okay. Um, I will say that my floors looked really good. When I came back in, it, they just looked really good. I think it does... A really good job um will i say it does any better than lysol or mr clean or something like that no i don't um it's not a real strong scent so when we came back in last night i did smell it 
but it wasn't like a Ponsol scent, you know, like a strong, strong scent. But if you have a hard time breathing with chemicals like Ponsol or Lysol or something like that, you would love this. It's not a real strong scent and it does good. It really did a good job. My floors looked really good, but will I repurchase it? I'm not going to say for sure that I would right now, but you know, who knows? But anyway, I hope you guys are having a good week. It is Wednesday, so we are halfway through. Monday morning, we got in the car, and I was taking Allison to school, and she was so tired. And she had, like, the sleepiest eyes, and she looked at me, and she was like, I can't wait for this week to be over. And I was like, Allison, it's Monday morning. You've got a long ways to go. But she's playing on her middle school softball team, so... I know last week we had four games in one week and you know it's exhausting it's a lot and if you're lucky one of those will get rained out and you'll get a break and then on Wednesday nights she has volleyball practice so she's very active but if she wasn't doing that she would be sitting at home on her phone or eating or you know so it's good for them get them into something or they will get into something that's the way I've always looked at it. But as I'm watching this back, my floors look pretty good. I don't know if it's just because it's wet, but I don't know. Give me a few times with this cleaner and I'll let y'all know. But anyway, I included some footage of Flash. We were looking through my old YouTube videos. And if y'all haven't went back and watched all those, I took a few clips out of, you know, just some funny parts or some cute parts of him. And I included that at the end of this. So I was just going to let y'all, you know, see him when he was smaller and all that. He was so adorable. But I hope you guys are having a blessed week. I hope that you wake up every day knowing that his mercies are new every morning and he woke you up and he gave you a new chance. He gave you another day. So make a difference. Love yourself. And if you feel like you don't have a friend, if you don't have family or if you don't have a support system, if you're alone, I can't imagine doing this life alone. So I want you to know that if you are, you have me and you have Jesus. He loves you so much, and I love you guys too. I will see you guys in the next one. Be true. I don't see no miracles, do you? Unless it can dissolve dog hair for up to six months. I also wanted to let you guys know that if you commented on my last video to win the new vacuum, we let Allison draw and the name that was chosen, we contacted her on Instagram and she did contact us back. So I hope you enjoy your new vacuum. I also wanted to say thank you for each and every comment. They were so precious and I wish I could have given every one of you all something. But you all were so sweet when you said what you were thankful for and even opened up about some of your struggles or your losses. And I just want you to know that I am praying for you. I'm thinking of you guys and just hang in there. You're going to get there. You all have came so far. God is so good, but thank you guys so much.
done? Blast. Say hello. Say hello. So I have the longest ears. Small form. Say cheese. <laughs> I just want you, I just need you, I don't know what it is you do. Gonna what was you? What's 195 minus 134? 61 pounds? Hey, hey, we're not gonna start that business. Pan on the sidewalk. Flash, you stepped in it. Happy birthday, dear Flashlight. Happy birthday to you. Yay. Been walking down the street so many times, my feet know every brick and stone could wear a blindfold. No matter what. Now show them what it does. Should be a switch on a sucker somewhere. Okay. Come here, Flash. Come here, Flash. <laughs> Flash. Why is my camera crooked? Go poop. Not on the sidewalk. Go poop. Go. I'm not coming down there. Flash, it is raining. Go. Flash. Hey.